70 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, on the ancient island of Madagascar, a lost world amidst the hot, humid, and oppressive swamps. Small herds of dinosaurs, perhaps juvenile Repetosaurus, wandered in search of tender leaves and water. But hidden beneath the seemingly quiet and harmless mud, an ancient hunter lay patiently in wait. A seemingly harmless amphibian, but in reality, it was a nightmare for the baby dinosaur world. A giant predator bearing the name Beelzebufo, the devil frog. Based on the extraordinary fossils discovered, scientists confirm Beelzebufo was the largest frog ever to exist on this planet. It could reach 40 centimeters, 16 inches in length and weigh nearly five kilograms, 11 pounds, the size of a basketball, but it was a living hunting machine. In the world of amphibians, typically small and frail, Beelzebufo was a true giant, a terrifying exception of nature. Its anatomy was formidable, a large flat head and a thick, robust skull, allowing it to withstand extreme impact forces when attacking prey. Scientific simulations estimate its bite force could reach 2,200 newtons. A staggering bite force, powerful enough to be comparable to the snap of a small crocodile or even a modern gray wolf. With that power, a single bite could crush the hard shell of a contemporary turtle or even shatter the spine of an unfortunate young dinosaur. Beelzebufo did not waste energy chasing prey. It was a master, nature's perfect ambush assassin. It buried itself almost entirely in the mire, perfectly camouflaged with its surroundings, revealing only its patient, bulging eyes. From this vantage point, it sensed the slightest vibrations on the ground and water surface, awaiting a single mistake. Should a curious young dinosaur or an unwary small reptile step too close within striking distance? Should a curious young dinosaur or an unwary small reptile step too close within striking distance? There was no roar, no chase, not a single chance of escape. The predator needed only one fatal moment. Interestingly, studies indicate Beelzebufo is a distant relative of the South American horned frog, the famously aggressive Pacman frog of today. This Pacman frog is also a voracious predator, preying on snakes, small birds, and mice. It seems this terrifying killer instinct has been hardwired into their genes for tens of millions of years. In the late Cretaceous, Madagascar was an island adrift, completely isolated, a hot, semi-arid world filled with swamps and bizarre vegetation. In the absence of large terrestrial predators like Tyrannosaurus, the island became a haven for reptiles and amphibians to flourish. In that unique ecosystem, Beelzebufo easily claimed the spot of apex predator in the wetlands. It was the perfect symbol of the evolutionary phenomenon, island gigantism, where small creatures evolve to enormous sizes to fill an empty ecological niche.
In a place with no large land-based predators, it was ironically the frog that rose to rule the wetlands. Like all amphibians, but for Beelzebufo, rain was the powerful signal for life, for the beginning of a new generation. When the intense rainy season arrived, drenching the cracked earth and turning it into shallow pools, the males would begin to emit a resounding call to attract mates. A deep, throaty, and powerful call, so strong it could make the water surface ripple, caring for kilometers around. After mating successfully, the female would find shallow, relatively safe pools and lay hundreds, even thousands of eggs. The Beelzebufo tadpoles that hatched were also gigantic, many times larger than modern tadpoles, and they were predators from the moment they were born. They had cannibalistic tendencies preying on their own siblings. This was a brutal strategy, but it ensured only the strongest survived and developed rapidly in this harsh environment. As the pools began to dry, the new generation of froglets, the lucky survivors, would bury themselves deep in the damp mud, entering a state of estivation, awaiting the next rainy season, a perfect, self-contained survival cycle. One of the most incredible findings Fossil studies show Beelzebufo belongs to the family Ceratophrytae, meaning they are direct relatives of the Pac-Man horn frogs of South America. This discovery proves that tens of millions of years ago, when Madagascar and South America were still connected within the supercontinent Gondwana, their common ancestors lived together on a single landmass. But as Gondwana fragmented and the continents were separated by thousands of kilometers of ocean, each lineage began to evolve down a separate path. But as Gondwana fragmented and the continents were separated by thousands of kilometers of ocean, each lineage began to evolve down a separate path. Beelzebufo is a vivid testament to the extraordinary evolutionary potential and diversity of life on Earth. Biologically an amphibian, yet it assumed the ecological role of a cold-blooded reptilian predator. It blurred the faint line, once thought to be clear, between prey and predator in the ancient world. But the reign of the devil frog would not last forever. As the global climate changed, Madagascar grew more arid, rainfall diminished, and the swamps, its very lifeblood, began to dry up. Creatures entirely dependent on water for reproduction and hunting, like Beelzebufo, lost their foothold and began to vanish. And then the final blow struck, along with the mass extinction catastrophe 66 million years ago. The asteroid impact that wiped the non-avian dinosaurs from the face of the Earth. Belzebufo, the devil frog of Madagascar, also faded into oblivion, buried along with its age. Today, the thousands of small, docile frogs we see around us are the distant descendants. The survivors who tell the tale of Beelzebufo? Though only lifeless fossils remain, this devil frog has told scientists a remarkable story of power, adaptation, and the laws of evolution. Beelzebufo was not merely a monster hiding in the Cretaceous mud. It is a powerful testament to the extraordinary survivability and endless creativity of life, conquering every corner of the planet.
And it reminds us that sometimes the most fearsome predator in nature is not the largest or the fastest, but the most patient biding its time. Thank you for joining us on Journey of Roots. Were you impressed by the devil frog's hunting skills? What ancient creature would you like us to explore next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss another journey to discover the legendary creatures that once ruled the earth.